Life is good all this month at Appalachian Wireless. Get the LG G5 for just one penny with sign-up or renewal of a two-year service agreement. That's almost $100 off the regular price. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. The federal budget proposed recently by President Donald Trump has made officials of many programs around eastern Kentucky a little nervous. Mike Howe with the Big Sandy Community Action Program has been with the group for 37 years and says this isn't the first time they've seen cuts. Our funding down through the years, uh, it's, uh, it's been good and it's been bad. Um, uh, I came here in 1980 and shortly after uh, President Reagan came in and uh, we were cut pretty seriously through some of that. We lost uh, quite a number of staff people. We lost several services that we were providing during that time. One program in particular which was targeted for elimination is the Low Income Housing Energy Assistance Program, which provides residents with assistance with heating bills. It helps uh, uh, people to, to budget, particularly if they have uh, high energy bills during the winter months. And we've seen some really high electric bills uh, and natural gas bills during the, during the winter. Even though it was a mild winter, we've still seen some rather high ones. Howe understands that the president's budget is merely a first draft and that the real budget will be determined by Congress. president's budget is, uh, that's his wish list for right now. I don't ever recall any president getting everything that they ask for. I certainly expect that, that uh, you know, Congress controls the final budget and we have bipartisan support. As Congress begins to address that budget, administrators like Hal face an uncertain future. Reporting from Paintsville, for EKB News, I'm Jackson Latta.